three letters, but some pretty hefty numbers behind them. And don't worry, this isn't some cryptic crossword clue. It's SME, small and medium sized enterprises. There are 24.4 million of them in Europe alone, including this Parisian cafe. They make up 90% of businesses worldwide. Seven in every 10 job is down to an SME. And in some regions, 70% of the GDP. The head of the World Economic Forum's new champions community, Julia DeVos, says that SMEs are the backbone of every economy. When I caught up with her earlier, I asked her whether the pivotal importance of SMEs is sufficiently recognised. I don't think so, because nowadays what, you know, we have in our collective mind and on the headlines, you see the initiatives of the big corporations, but you rarely see what the SMEs are doing. And the SMEs themselves, they feel like, oh, I am alone, I am very small, how can I make a an impact, but collectively they make a very big impact. And this is why this is also our job. I mean, not only us at the World Economic Forum, but you know, the large corporation and institutions to really help them to create, actually to give them a voice. I think we need to help them to one, make sense of what's going on. Um, I'm thinking particularly about all the regulations coming up in 2024 related to the uh, environmental uh, policies. So this is very important because, you know, companies, they don't really, smaller companies, they don't really understand what it means for them. And they do not have a huge department to tell them, yeah, the okay, resources exactly, to, yeah. to analyze all the rules and regulations and to really translate what it means in their day-to-day -day business. So this is where the large corporation can have an impact and help them to say, okay, you are our suppliers, let's have a talk. Let's see how we can help you to make sense of all of this and to continue working together. So what would most accelerate that growth then? Is it about knowledge? Is it giving them access to knowledge or finance? Yeah, not only, so not only knowledge, the network, definitely. Very important to get an, uh, a group of people that you can trust and you can ask advice for and you can really, you know, be very open about what's going on in your company and how you can really tackle the challenges that you have. And also what is really important, and this is what we do at the World Economic Forum, give them a platform where they can share their story. Because again, they have amazing story to tell. And they can be very inspiring for the rest of the, the, the other companies or the people. And you also talked um, on the website and at this event here today in Paris about making sure they're future ready, this yes. idea of readiness. Just explain what you mean by readiness. Readiness for what and, and how to get them ready? There are three main characteristics for this future readiness company. It's sustainable uh, growth, it's societal impact, and it's adaptive capacity. And this one particularly, adaptive capacity, is something that SMEs have a very uh, have a huge advantage, actually, because they are small. So yeah, they so can really, yeah, exactly. They can transform, I mean, more quickly than, than big companies. So what stops them doing it? I mean, does this go back to the resources and the knowledge? But if they, is there an awareness that they need to adapt and change? So it's not just about um, resources. Is it an attitude issue as well? Yeah, it's a, I would say it's a mind, mindset. Uh, we see also that many SMEs are, you know, family businesses. And uh, you need also to understand that, okay, you, you know, this, this say like, we have, I've always been doing this this way. Why would we change? But, we have challenges, so we need to change. And the mindset of, I mean, this growth mindset where you really look at what's coming next and, and understand, okay, this is a time where I need to shift for the benefit of my company and for the survival of my company. Well, well exactly, you talk about survival. So to have um, sustainable development, presumably it requires digitalization. And without digitalization, there is a question of survivability for a business. So it's part of it, definitely. Uh, but of course, technology, and I think that globally to be able to have a sustainable growth, 
you need to have innovative businesses. Digitalization is part of it. But the innovation comes from the, the, the tech, right? But it also comes from this new way of doing business which can integrate and should integrate SDGs, for instance. Unfortunately, we cannot work with all the SMEs in the world, and that's why this is very important to have an ecosystem. And I think that Huawei, like many other large corporations, are also working in towards this direction. So this is great. Uh, on our side, what we try to do is to provide some programs, and one of them is this new champion program for mid-sized uh, mission-driven companies. And so what we provide in this program is... Um, three things, the network, the knowledge, and this platform for thought leadership.